To start this video off, I have a serious question for all of you. Let's say you're in a plane crash and you land on a deserted island. How long would you wait for someone to come rescue you before you got up and actually tried to save yourself? For me, it took me six months and that was way too long. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, typically what I do is I'm trying to teach lessons, lessons that I've learned, and I take different topics from YouTube community, from movies, from TVs, all that stuff, and just try to improve ourselves. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you stick around, subscribe, ring that notification bell, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at The Rewired Soul. But yeah, uh, for all of my loyal, loyal followers out there. Uh, I just want to apologize, but I need you to bear with me. All right, um, and I'm gonna explain it in this video, but I'm gonna be releasing a bunch of videos this weekend. And yeah, like I said, just bear with me. If you don't wanna hear about this stuff and you just wanna wait until I get back to taking pop culture and blending it with like psychology and philosophy and everything like that, like come back on Monday, I'll see you then, baby. All right, but most of you know, like I'm a huge believer in everything is a learning experience. Every piece of content, we can take something from this, all right? So some people don't, you know, aren't a fan of me talking about this, but I want you to sit back and see what you could take from this. Like my goal with this is I hope to inspire some of you. See, I get comments like this all the time, right? Why don't you just quit? Why don't you just quit? And for any of you watching this, I want this to be inspiration to you because this person and many others, they, they haven't met me yet because I don't quit. I don't give up and I hope to inspire you too. I wanna show you that no matter what happens, if you have a goal, if you have a dream, keep pursuing it. Even if you have tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people coming at you screaming and freaking out. All right, so if you wanna watch this series of videos that I'm gonna release over the weekend, it's gonna be a lot, not sure how many, it's gonna be a lot. Like I hope it inspires you, all right? So let's talk about this. So yeah, some of you have seen the recent videos I did. I did one uh, about making prim ink filthy rich. Uh, I asked you some advice about doing a video with Cody Rance. I ended up changing my mind, made a video about that. I also made a video about Aaron Carter, but I also finally addressed another smaller creator who's made a bunch of videos about me and I kind of discussed addiction and everything like that. And I'm gonna make you know some more videos. So. Here's one of the reasons why. So I don't know how many of you know who Andy Signore is. He was accused um, of all these things during like the Me Too time and he recently came back and you know, after I think a year and a half or so, he finally released all the information and everything. And he just started something called Hugging the Cactus that he's working on. And it's to get rid of cancel culture. So anyways, I was talking to Andy in DMs and uh, we, we've only talked a couple times, but anyways, he saw the most recent video that Prim Inc. made about me. He's like, man, this doesn't look good. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I was like, Prim Inc. is notorious for, you know, creating his own narrative. And I'm like, nobody, like hardly anybody who watched his video actually read my book where they can get the full context. And Andy said something to me that really, it really clicked. He's like, Chris, this is YouTube people aren't reading books. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> duh, Chris, you know? Um, and it makes sense. And here, if you want, prove me wrong, but don't you lie, don't you lie. Down in the comments, tell me the last time you read a book from cover to cover, all right? Now, don't get me wrong, there are plenty of people who have read my book, but in this realm of YouTube, I'm not broadcasting to a bunch of readers, all right? Like a lot of you like video content. We all have our preference on content, whether it's, you know, audio, you know, like podcasts, video, like YouTube, or we like to read, you know, whatever it is. But I'm on YouTube and I need to realize that a bunch of people here like to watch content. So I was talking to a mentor of mine, kind of about this, and I was like, like, you know, it's, it's time for me to save myself and people aren't coming to rescue me. I need to do something about it. And I was like, and he, he was explaining to me, he's like, Chris, people have an obligation to um, 
protect their own brand. If they attach themselves to you, it can lose them money, it can lose them followers, it can lose them this. And I, I, I told him, I was like, I was like, I get that, I respect that. Everybody has the right to protect their own best interest, but that doesn't mean that I should just lay down. Like, something I constantly teach people, and I taught this to people all the time when I was working at the Addiction Treatment Center, if other people aren't going to advocate for you, guess what you have to do? You have to advocate for yourself, all right? And one of the mistakes I've made in the last six months was waiting for someone to come rescue me, someone to come help me. It's really hard to rebuild on YouTube with without support, right? If you're just doing it by yourself. So anyways, uh, I picked up my son yesterday, brought him back home. My beautiful girlfriend, Tristan, was here and I sat him down for a quick little family meeting, all right? And I sat them both down and I said, what, what would you guys think if I just went over to my computer right now and deleted my YouTube channel, right? And they're like, what? I'm like, just, just answer the question. What would you think if I went over and I just deleted the Rewired Soul? And Tristan's like, that, that's crazy. Don't, don't do that. Like, what do you mean? You've worked so hard on it and everything. I'm like, okay. And I asked my 10 year old son, Dylan, I'm like, what, what would you think if I just went over there and deleted my channel? And he was like, God, I love that kid. He was like, uh, he's like, I, I wouldn't want you to do that. He's like, you're, you're helping a lot of people. So if you delete the channel, you're not gonna be able to help those people anymore. I'm just like, dang, I have raised such an amazing kid. But here's the thing, like, it was just a question. I'm never deleting this channel, <laughs> all right? But I've gotten to this place. And again, I hope you take this into consideration for yourself. Like, I've gotten to a place where I'm fine. I made a video a, a month or two ago called Unsubscribe from the Rewired Soul or whatever. And I've gotten to a point where it's just like, people are gonna have their opinions about me. There's people who are gonna hate me or question my motives and intentions, but there's gonna be a bunch of people out there who know my motives and intentions that I'm trying to help and trying to see what we can learn and try to ultimately improve our lives. But I'm letting you know this, when you get to this place of having nothing to lose, right? Especially because you've lost everything. This it, it reminds me of hitting rock bottom in my addiction. Like the only way is up. And I hope that inspires some people out there because when you get to that place, you're more likely to take risks, right? When you're not afraid of what other people are gonna think about you, when you're not afraid of what other people are going to say, or if other people are gonna make videos about you, whatever it is, when you're not afraid of that, you're willing to take risks, all right? And, you know, to some people that sounds crazy, but if you look back throughout history, anybody trying to make an impact on the world or make major change has looked crazy at some point or another, right? So anyways, um, during these last six months, I've talked to a lot of people, a lot of creators who I was friends with. They have distanced themselves from me. Um, a lot of them talk to me in private still, but they won't talk to me publicly. But it's kind of a bummer because they'll sass me publicly, but be cool with me behind the scenes. But anyways, so part of what I did was during this time since I got canceled, I was like, you know what, like a couple weeks ago and I saw cancel culture is more and more of a mainstream topic. By the way, there's a brand new article from Lindsay Dodgson um, from The Insider. Uh, I'm in it as well as many other YouTubers about YouTubers speaking out against cancel culture. I'm gonna link that down in the description below. But anyways, um, I figured after the dust settled, maybe, maybe a commentary channel, like one of the best commentary channels out there would be willing to look back at my situation and kind of look at it with, from a logical, rational point of view and say, this was kind of ridiculous what happened to Chris, right? So I reached out to people like Donna from Psych IRL. I reached out to iNabber. I reached out to Edwin of Edwin's Generation. And uh, all of them shut me down. They weren't willing to do that, right? And again, like, if other people aren't going to advocate for you, like, are you just gonna sit around on that deserted island or are you gonna start advocating for yourself? Something else I did when I released my book, Canceled, I reached out to a bunch of other YouTubers um, who have been canceled too. Uh, 
some of whom uh, I reached out to Manny MUA. I sent him an email. I sent Laura Lee an email. I even sent James Charles an email. I talked about all of them in my book and what happened with them and everything like that. And listen, I wasn't expecting much. My dad just taught me since I was uh, a wee little boy. He said, Chris, if you don't ask, the answer is already no. So none of those YouTubers got back to me or anything like that. And that's cool, that is cool, that is totally fine. But again, how long are we gonna sit here and not advocate for ourselves? So to kind of finish up this video, the reason I wrote that book, the reason I wrote Cancelled was to take back my narrative, right? Because when the internet hate mob comes after you, you lose control of your narrative. People can say whatever they want to about you like, they can call you racist, they can call you dangerous, they can make up stories and spread false information and everything like that. So writing a book was a way for me to sit down, talk about my experience from my point of view and just lay it out there and just give people the, the full perspective, right? Because there's always two sides to every story. But again, people on YouTube aren't big readers. And it sucks, don't get me wrong, it sucks, like I spent, well over a hundred hours writing that book. I gave free copies of that book away for free. I, I mean, I gave free copies away for the first month and a half. But like I said, if any of you watched my Prim Inc video, he got over 300,000 views on a video about my book and I've had less than 1,300 downloads of my book, most of which were free. You see what I mean? So I spent a lot of time and effort and energy in that. So basically what I'm getting at is this series of videos that I'm gonna release, a lot of it is going to be topics from that book that a lot of you never read. So I'm not going to be exposing anything new. It's all been in my book for a long time, but a lot of the channels that you see who have been reviewing my book, they, they hit control F on the PDF, tried to see if they can find their name or their section. They didn't read the book. So I'm gonna release some things that, um, you know, a lot of you don't know about. And this is just gonna be this weekend and I'm hoping to just move on, but I want to give everybody out there an opportunity who didn't read the book to kind of know about these things. But I'm also gonna make some videos um, discussing some things that are not in the book as well. And just kind of things from my perspective, looking at the you know YouTube community and, and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, like I said, um, my apologies if that's not what you're here for, uh, but I promise you if you stick around and you watch, you'll, you'll be inspired if you try to take something away from it, all right? Because if you're somebody who, who has wanted to ever give up, if you've ever wanted to quit, if you have ever had people telling you to quit, these videos are gonna be right for you, all right? Because we, we've all been in experiences where friends turn their backs on you or family turns their backs on you, right? And it makes us wanna give up, but I'm here to tell you, don't give up, baby. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. As usual, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon, everybody who supports the channel by buying merch or my books. You're all amazing. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you really soon, really, really soon.